beginning of YouTube as being a person that was like around that time, anytime you showed any type of success, it was like, sell out, you selling out, bro. But it really wasn't that. You were like sh- just trying to show that like this is a viable thing. Like we're just trying to like promote this cool new experience that we're all having. Yeah. Right. I remember feeling that way a little about Epic Meal Time. Relax. Well, it was interesting because you guys did a good job of balancing, I thought, from as like a fan's yeah. perspective. Because you guys were these these new YouTubers on the block covering food. So at first I was threatened. I was like, God damn. We weren't covering great. food. We were just you were covering, in food. You were, you were talking about food. Yeah, we were talking yeah, about You food. were creating food recipes. Yeah. But I was like, it's brilliant, man. This is like... And so when I saw that, what also differentiated you guys is not just that the recipes, you guys were making recipes on YouTube. They were crazy. Yeah. But you guys were flashy. Yeah. You and, guys and had, like kind of like uh, crass. You had the tone that we resonated with as like a culture. At well, it time. was like the new age tone. It was like, get the stuffiness out of there. As much as I love legacy food TV, like it's over, like that's what my parents watch. What yeah. am I watching? Am I really watching the same shit that my parents are watching? Yeah. 